Hey everybody, it's Jay, Florida Suburban Dad. Well, this video is going to be basically more on this Bronco. Um, as you guys have seen in the last couple videos, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there from dealers or people working with dealer models and this and that. I'm going to give you guys, plain Jane, how this thing is doing so far. And I've the last video I gave you guys some of the things I'm finding in the first week or so I mean minor minuscule little things so far loving this thing and it's just very comfortable to drive and handles really nicely now granted and still about a week and a half away from too many aftermarket mods with lift kits and tires and of course we're gonna see how things change and how things look then but I figured right now you guys I am heading off doing some errands and I bring you guys along for a drive and give me an idea I got the roof folded halfway back you guys can get an idea I mean this is sweet and nice they'll give you guys an idea of the amount of noise or anything like that and watch this dumb dumb in front of me trying to cut off a rig and he was gonna lose <laughs> but um the thing is what am I running into so far um one like I said a minute ago it is really nice to drive um, I'm a bigger guy broad shoulders everything down through like I've said in earlier videos I've had Jeeps I love Jeeps I'm not doing any of these videos to bash on Jeep but Jeeps are narrow and for long trips and around I mean they're this is a whole different world this is basically like sitting in a caddy compared to sitting in a Rubicon uh, it's wider it's Basically, I got a I got an off-road vehicle here that has broad shoulders like mine. Jeep's a little narrow, which I mean, it's it is what it is. Um, so, and I'm sure you guys have seen in other videos to where, yeah, the ride quality is better than this. That independent front suspension, it's where it's at on the highways. I know off-road, it's a different thing, but honestly, come on, most are, everyone out there getting this thing. Is, are not going to trailer it trailer it from one spot to the next to take it off-road They're going to be driving around out here in suburbia and city and everything else doing what they do So so far ride is great little things. Um, this one has the cell phone charging pad down below right here and If you are one of those people that do not have any type of case on your phone it may work better for you but if you have any case and I understand with otter cases they're thicker bigger heavier you know it might not charge as well but mine is not an otter case it's basically just a bump case it's pretty thin and you can't get it to stay on charging um, when it's connected to the sync 4 system in here you can see it charge no charge charge no charge it's so I've gone old school and just hooked up a USB-C cable short one and just have that up here um, you got cup holders I'm trying to find a place to put change which is pretty much going right where the charging thing is um, I mean come on it's an everyday run vehicle you're gonna have pocket change you're gonna have all that stuff and it seems to be working good the cup holders everything holds nicely um, dash all the you know everything's working out really nice Let's see, the cloth interior, the roast here. I am gonna figure that this area here where you rest your arm a lot and stuff, I am gonna keep an eye on that and see basically what happens there. Cause I mean, just where I'm in Florida, sun and everything else, I'm not sure how that's gonna wear on me. I'm not sure if I wanna get a pad or something there. Cause come on, chill it, you know, get back and your elbows rest in there all the time, all the oils and grease from you. We'll see how that works out. Um, let's see, visibility out of this. This is no H2 or H3 or any of that stuff, the Hummers. I'm not looking out tank ports on this thing. There's really good visibility in all your windows, all around. When you have the top laid all the way back, convertible style, obviously it blocks your rear view mirror. I mean, that's a given. But right now, with it just half back like this, I, visibility's great. Um, the warning systems for your blind spots, I've tested those. Working good. 
I mean, this is a, and this is my first, this is a first production, big hoopa, you know, haven't been around forever. So far, in my opinion, Ford knocked it out of the park. There's growing pains, which everybody knows from ordering these things or getting one or waiting for one or everything else. There's lots of growing pains, but for just in love with it. It's been really good. I'm gonna have to keep, I did get the um, molded floor covers, which fit like a glove. And thank God, because this Outer Banks has carpet floors and I came with all the floor, you know, carpets and now I, I get muddy feet and we're gonna be taking this thing off road and need that. So right now I am doing 65 miles an hour, heading down an open highway. So really it's not that loud, that bad. I mean, it's a top bag. You're gonna get some whistling, wind noise. It's quite nice. A little different for me, and yes, I know before all the comments come down below, I have sunscreen and I do wear baseball caps. I know if I do this on a regular basis, I may burn the top of my head. Not my first rodeo. Been like this for quite a while, so I understand. But really, it's been pretty cool. Um, what else? Fuel mileage, again, didn't get this for fuel economy. I mean, I'm still averaging about 17, 17 and a half. Stop and go, run around everywhere. It's not, I mean, it is what it is. Like I said in an earlier video, I didn't get this for fuel economy. Um, accessories, hurry up Ford. Um, Cause right now, like the GoPro right now, I'm talking to you guys on, that's a suction cup that's over there in the far windshield. So the stuff you've seen in all the videos on the dashes and all this stuff, that's pre-production all those nice you know dealer videos you see out there because you can't get that stuff yet i'm hoping maybe by this fall when there's more of these out on the road and more of them have been delivered and out there that we'll start seeing some accessories because i mean come on same thing with your jeeps and everything they're like i always say like some of my other toys of mine jeeps are like lego kits for adults you can trick them out play with them do all kinds of things with them I know Ford is thinking, I mean, that's basically the basis of what they want to do here with this, and they need to do it. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to it. So, what else? Uh, seats, I've had friends that are 6'4", six, 6'5", six, in the back seat, lots of leg room, lots of leg room here in the front, and that's with me in here, other people sitting around. Everybody's been quite comfortable. The first thing they had to learn in the back seat is when you first get in, the seats are, I mean, almost 90 degree vertical. You're like sitting like this. Still plenty of headroom, but not comfortable at all. The, but the adjustments are on the top of the seat, so you can lay it back just a little bit and get that little more comfort level. So it works. But leg space and everything, I everyone's been really comfortable. Granted, a lot of people are more fun just riding in the new Bronco, but like I said, I've had friends that are well more tall, you know, a lot taller than I am. And they've been quite comfortable with it. My wife and my daughter have also driven this. My wife, who is five foot, I mean, she's short. She loves this. You can raise the seat and everything. She loves the visibility. Um, to the trail markers that these are known for, those little, you know, attachment points and everything else on each side of the hood, she loves that. Um, it works for her. But she said visibility wise, looking out the hood and seeing around, she was worried that since she's such a short stature young lady, that she might have problems seeing and visibility, but she's in love with it. Um, which I'm not exactly happy about. That means she's gonna borrow it more and I won't get as much time with it. But happy wife, happy life. Let's see, um, the SYNC 4 system, it's new to me. Still trying to figure it out. Satellite radio is satellite radio. The navigation, you have nav on here. Then I have an Android phone, so the sync with the Android system back and forth. Sometimes it seems to have a little bit of a mind of its own, but it works really well. I'm still figuring out what the buttons do and how I want to get things settled in and done. 
Um, I've mentioned before this 2.7 liter twin turbo six. I've only had this in sport mode once. Now granted, I mean, I got it with like six miles on it. I'm not gonna race this thing right off the bat. You wanna break them in a little bit. But it's it'll get up and go. It really will. Um, like, there. But it'll get up and move. And that's not in sport mode. The They probably did a little thing so you can hear the turbos, but it'll get you where you need to go and a little sprinkle and the nice thing is i am almost where i need to go and i can just flip that back a couple latches boom done i don't have to worry about leaving anything back in the garage or anything because you guys heard in my last video my original build i wanted a hard top and the build was all done back in march or february the back and forth ford changed this they did that I missed out, I had things checked here and missed it, the dealership, you know. So I ended up going with a soft top so I could get it sooner. Now the whole reason I wanted a hard top is because I'm from the far northeast. I'm used to cold weather. I'm I'm used to the older days where I had hard tops and everything. And so it was more out of habit that I ordered it. So when I was Basically, I want my Bronco. I'm like, let me try a soft top. And right after I got my order in, I, you know, and the more I looked at it and everything, and being here in Florida, the rain comes and goes, everything just flopping things back and forth. I'm pretty happy with the soft top. Now, I'm pretty new to soft tops. This is my very first one. So the care, maintenance, everyday keep up, things like that are going to be new to me. And hell, I'll probably talk about it in videos to come. But really, I just wanted to pop, I mean, as you guys saw, it's just, it's comfortable, it's nice. So far, it's great. For all of you out there that are waiting for one of these, keep chomping at the bit because I drove my wife absolutely nuts for over a year. Videos, trying to find anything on it, bugging people, going on the forums, doing everything, YouTube, and of course, you know, I'm sure a lot of you that have watched a lot of these videos, you can probably name the like two or three, you know, places, Bronco Nation or Town and Country. Shout out to you guys, but that's where we got all of our information from. And now as a real owner and not affiliated with any of that stuff, I'm just putting this together as I can go. And I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun with this thing. So like I said, in the coming, uh, heading down to the Keys, this is going to be going down there on the beaches and everything this weekend. I'll get some videos in. Most of that's going to be for the bulk part of my channel, which is all, you know, just dad stuff. So if you're first time watching or anything else, hey, hit the recent Bronco videos. Hope like this one and subscribe. I mean, every single YouTuber out there says it. 95% of the people watching are unsubscribed. Please subscribe and all that. Seriously. I mean, what's it take? Hit a button dink subscribe like it don't you know don't like it it's all good but i'm gonna cut you guys loose i wanted to bring you guys along for a little bit of a ride i need to go in here and take care of this so until the next video live your life rock it and get after it i'll see you guys in the next one later